Good evening, you're watching Mission 2024. It's your one-stop destination for all news political as we run up to the big gig of 2024 general elections. I'm Preeti Chaudhary. Let me take you through the headlines. Bengal continues to be on edge. Fresh stone pelting in Hooghly. BJP leaders stop from visiting clash-hit areas. Home Ministry seeks a report from the Mamta government. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar faces flak for attending an iftar party in midst of an all-out riot situation in the state. AIAM chief attacks Nitish over meat party. Nitish Kumar, who is not a remorse on them, no trouble on them. Yesterday, he went to the party of iftar, he wore a top on his head, he wore a shawl. We can show a lot of hatred, we can show a lot of hatred. Rahul Gandhi's first reaction after getting bail, Rahul shoots the messenger again, asks... Then asked on BJP charges, Rahul snaps back, asks journalists, why federal BJP agenda? JP is saying that you are being pressurized on the judiciary. Why do you always say what BJP is saying? Every time you say what BJP is saying. BJP unleashes its Brahmastra in poll-bound Karnataka. Sources say Prime Minister Modi will address 25 to 30 rallies in the poll-bound state. Six people have been killed in an avalanche in Sikkim's Nathula. Several tourists feared trap. Army and the BRO rescue operations underway. Former U.S. President Donald Trump likely to be formally arrested and charged with 34 felonies. No handcuffs for Trump. He will not be jailed. All right, viewers, there's a big political row raging between the opposition and the government. This time around, the opposition training its guns on Prime Minister Modi's degree. Leaders of the Mahavikas Aghadi have differed in their stance over Prime Minister Modi's MA degree from Gujarat University. It started off with Arwin K. Jriwal in the national capital, echoed by some from the Congress and then, of course, echoed by that of uh, Uddhav Thakre. However, where the Mahavikas Aghadi is concerned, there seems to be a bit of discrepancy there. While Ajit Pawar backed Modi, saying degree doesn't quite matter, Uddhav questioned the secrecy over the Prime Minister's degree. Here's more. The big divide in the Maha Aghadi coming to the fore over attacks on Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his degree. First, Udhav Sena Chief Udhav Thakre slammed Narendra Modi and questioned what he called the alleged secrecy over his educational degree. Asa Abhiman, Maje Pantapradhan Ja College Bari Shikle, Ya College La Vatu Kaane, Ani Aha Konta Ne? Padvi Maagit Lai Padvi Da Kholi, Da Khoi Chi Nahi, Da Khoi Naar Nahi, Ani Vichar Lat, Tar Panchu Sada Rupay Danda Baru. Udhav got backing from his ally, the Congress. वो साबित करें अगर लोग प्रश्न पूछ रहे हैं, हाँ, उसका जवाब वो दे दें। ये इसमें कौन सी बड़ी बात है? But within hours, NCP heavyweight Ajit Pawar disapproved of his ally Udhav's attack, saying Modi's degree is a non-issue to target the Prime Minister, who has won a big mandate with his charisma. जो भारतीय जनता पक्ष का काश्मीर पास कन्याकुमारीपर्य नौता सर्वस्व श्रेय हे नरेंद्र मोदी साहब पाजे बट उधव इन्सिस्ट ऑन क्वेश्चनिंग द सीक्रेसी ओवर मोदीज डिग्री Meanwhile, the BJP has launched a poster attack on Delhi Chief Minister Kejriwal, saying his attacks on Modi are a bid to divert focus from the Ahmadmi Party's scams. Bharatiya Janta Party has responded to Ahmadmi Party's jibe at Prime Minister Narendra Modi's degree. New posters have come up in different parts of the national capital, and specifically in Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay Mark, where 
the BJP Delhi office is located and in these posters, the target is Aam Aadmi Party Chief Arvind Kejriwal. Low degree of politics, ek bahana bankar, unhone jis prakar se mudde ko divert karane ki koshish ki hai, to ye keh sakte hai ki ye degree degree to bahana hai, asliyat mein Manish aur Arvind ki corruption ki degree ko chhipana hai. The degree row erupted after the Aam Aadmi Party filed a right to information application seeking information on the Prime Minister's degree back in 2016. Kejriwal has been attacking Prime Minister Modi over his education degree amidst the face-off over the arrest of erstwhile Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia. तो डिग्री दिखाई क्यों दिल दे दे दी क्यों नहीं जा रही गुजरात विश्वविद्यालय दिल्ली विश्वविद्यालय डिग्री क्यों नहीं दे रहे उनकी जानकारी क्यों नहीं दे रहे डिग्री इसलिए नहीं दे रहे क्योंकि डिग्री हो सकता है फर्जी हो डिग्री हो सकता है नकली हो The Gujarat High Court had received a plea by Kejriwal to obtain Modi's degree and imposed a fine of 25000 rupees on the Delhi Chief Minister for filing a frivolous case With Amit Bhardwaj in Delhi Bureau Report India Today The question over degree or the unpar illiterate charge was raised first by Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, you just heard Arvind Kejriwal. It was echoed by other opposition leaders as well, especially where Uddhav Thakre was concerned. The question that I'm going to break down and ask Rahul Srivastava, our national affairs editor, who's joining us, uh, as well as uh, Rituvik Balikar, who's joining us from Mumbai, is whether this is going to backfire, it'll actually work for the opposition. We'll get that question to Rahul later. But Rituvik, I want to pull you in. Give us details. Uh, Ajit Pawar saying that the degree doesn't quite matter. What we are given to understand, even Sharad Pawar doesn't want to, uh, you know, rally the opposition chant on the degree or the education of the Prime Minister. Uh, he wants to steer clear of it. Is there a division in the ranks or is it just banter? And uh, that's about it. Uh, well, uh, this is not the first time Ajit Pawar has uh, played uh, defensive because uh, on multiple occasions we've seen that Ajit Pawar uh, is uh, uh, all praise for PM Modi and when uh, uh, Uddhav Thakre, his ally and even Congress are uh, launching scathing attack on PM Modi over this degree controversy, Ajit Pawar, who is the leader of opposition of the state in his press conference says that PM Modi has won in 2014 elections uh, because of his charisma and he has continued to be the loved leader. Uh, uh, there are uh, many important issues other than this degree. He is trying to uh, somehow uh, put this uh, 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 under the carpet and he is trying to uh, tell uh, his allies also that this is not a big issue. There are other issues which needs to be addressed, which needs to be tackled. But at the same time, when we spoke to other leaders of NCP, uh, when uh, there was a meeting today, uh, all were trying to uh, defend uh, Ajit Pawar mm -hmm. and they were saying that it is his own uh, opinion and uh, it okay. doesn't stand for the party. Now we need to say that, uh, see that how uh, Shiv Sena and Congress uh, will react on, on the statement of Ajit Pawar. All right, appreciate you joining us, Ritwik. Thank you there. So, you know, that's the dynamics of the Mahavikas Agadi or uh, what's going on in Maharashtra. Let's break it down on a national level because Rahul, uh, you know, let's take you back on the multiple occasions that the opposition has tried to build an attack where Narendra Modi is concerned. 2014, if uh, you know, I'm not wrong with the Chaiwala comment, the Prime Minister turned it around and made it about the Chaiwalas and where he came from, which was from nothing and made it into his moment. Uh, 2017, you had the 2019, you had the Chokidar Chor Hai comment, which the Prime Minister turned around again. This time around, do you see this working in the favor of opposition or actually backfiring? Because the BJP or even the Prime Minister in his next rally can go right forth and said, Ye sab anpad ki baat kar rahe hai. Even if it is Anpar, he can make that into a rallying point, like he did with the Chaiwalas. Pretty, uh, the, in the his, if you see recent history, it was sometime in 2018, exactly five years ago, campaigning for Karnataka and Rajasthan, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi came up with the Namdar versus Kamdar element, and 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 it is it is he turned used that basically to portray a certain that the opposition leaders mm -hmm. or those opposed to him represent a certain mindset 
that somebody who comes from a not so well provided background uh, is is looked down upon i think the bjp is already uh, in the throes of utilizing this in part of the campaign and uh, if you see this argument about somebody's education uh, lok sabha or assemblies is not addressed in the assembly in the constitution of india in the representation of people's act you have to be 25 years old a voter anywhere in the country and you have to be a citizen of india and you can contest an election there have been chief ministers who have not even been graduates maybe have not even passed high school the average right. educational level say in delhi for example i am looking at only 32.9% uh, have not even graduates so in a scenario like that to say that x can become prime minister and should a prime minister not be educated question marks over the degree i think there is a political play out happening one why is an arvind kejriwal doing it because i think with the rise of rahul gandhi in part in the national narrative i think somewhere there is a bit of a jitter arvind kejriwal is positioning himself with every narendra modi and the bjp with elections in rajasthan karnataka Uh, mm -hmm. and uh, madhya pradesh in coming the second is the play within the maharashtra vika uh, mahavikas agadi happening in maharashtra that's i think another very interesting thing happening because few days back you will recall that udav thakre fired a salvo on savarkar at rahul gandhi now that was uh, something he was trying to set the tone which can be problematic for a party like the ncp in maharashtra because he had said that savarkar is a god like figure for them and that can may not go down well with the ncp it upsets their political equations the second i think also by doing this the ncp is signaling that it is at variance with the udav thakre faction of the shiv sena with the party right. diminished not the same as it used to be i think that war for the pole position in maharashtra is happening between mm -hmm. the three players inside the mahara maha mba you know uh, rahul you know before we cut across to our next story i want to just come back to that same point because if you look at even the illiteracy rate in india it's close to 25% that's a huge chunk of the country which is actually unpad and illiterate and that same chunk could actually be leveraged as a vote bank for the prime minister who will say that what's wrong if we are unpad not that he is you, you know see, not that the degree holds but to posture yes this is exactly what prime minister narendra modi has quint essentially done when there has been a charge like this he turns it into a class issue that it is a certain class you know the all those remarks about routines delhi the khan market gang uh, namdar versus kamdar all these the chai wala all these fits into a narrative and i think that's where i think a mistake is being committed that you may attack prime mm -hmm. minister narendra modi i think uh, two very interesting things i think what Mr uh, Ajit Pawar has said today that the LPG prices are a huge issue I think we should be talking about that not about the degree and I think what Omar Abdullah had one time said in 2018 uh, 2014 when Ajay Makan has uh, talked about Smriti Irani's uh, degree uh, Omar Abdullah has said that uh, to say that someone needs to have be educated to be a HRD minister is like saying that one needs to be a pilot for being a civil aviation minister i think i think this debate is largely political in character and True. people are utilizing it and i think the bjp will be very soon at it well the bjp will be very soon at it we leave it for our uh, viewers to decide whether it will work for the opposition or backfire for the opposition thank you rithwik thank you rahul for joining us i want to quickly cut across to the other developing story that we are following closely uh, which is uh, bengal which continues to be on the boil viewers uh, many would suggest that this is a run up to what we will see to 2024 but closer home uh, there are panchayat elections which would be announced any day right now so everything uh, where politics of the fallout of the communal clashes are concerned is tying into the larger narrative of a uh, local body panchayat polls after howrah fresh stone pelting occurred at the rishra railway station in hugli district in an attempt to quell tensions the bengal governor ananda bose visited the violence hit rishira with a message of peace the violence has stirred massive slug fest after being blocked from visiting howrah bengal bjp chief sukanta mazumdar was once again stopped from visiting hugli mazumdar also wrote to home minister amit shah alleging that bengal cops are spineless and are only serving to please the tmc and mamta mha has also sought a report on the violence from the bengal government mamta banerjee came down heavily on bjp alleging that the part has bought outsiders 
But the party in particular, BJP, has bought outsiders for the violence that's ravaged the street. The violence has sparked a video war as well between the ruling TMC and the opposition BJP. Footage shared by the TMC shows a boy during the procession carrying a pistol. TMC branded it as an unholy blueprint of BJP. BJP has hit back and called the TMC's video fake. As per TMC sources, the man in this video has been arrested from Bihar's Munger and he will be brought to Howrah on transit remand. प्रोचना दिखान दांगारे जुक्त रेत करबा के सीबीआई देखा ना पुलिस तर बिुदे कठोर व्यवस्था ने बांगलार मानुष दांगा भलोबाशे ना दांगा कड़ा बांगलार संस्कृति नये दांगा करीना मानुष कख दांगा करना बीजेपी लोक आज के पारे ना तई दांगा करवार बर गुंडा दे भाड़ा कर नहीं आसे एवं बोलते चाह दांगा नय इट्स ए क्रिमिनल भायलेंस एट हे क्रिमिनल भायलेंस करा कारा हमला कर मुख्यमंत्री तेज़ छवि भिडियो आनुक क्या आनचन ना हावड़ार रामनवमी से शिवपुरे कारा हमला कर ऊपर थे तरह के चिन्हित कर क्या तर नाम सामने आनचन ना क्या रामनवमी बंदूक नहीं नेचे तई छवि देखा से बंदूक आसल ना नकल जानी ना और जे पुलिस सताश हजार के जी अमोनियम नाइट्रेट कथाय आज कलकार बुके खुजे पाए ना से एक लोक के मुंगेर थे खुजे पे जा बंधुक हाथे मना है ना ये प्लान्टेड हमार तो सन्देह हो प्लान्टेड जो तृणमूल कॉग्रेस बंदूक नहीं पाठिए हाथे आगे तरह गए लुकोते बोले गए धरे एने से Joining me for more is my colleague Surya Agni Roy, live from Hooghly. You know, Surya Agni, take us through a. What is the current situation? Things have been on the edge with sporadic incidences of violence. Get us more on that. The governor has also stepped in. Uh, you know, give us a brief on that as well. And all of it somewhere down the line, politically, Surya Agni seems to be tying in to what could be announcement of dates any time now of panchayat polls in the state. Well, firstly, Preeti, uh, the silver lining in this entire, you know, week is that there has been no sporadic, there has been no reports of any sporadic incidents be, uh, since the past couple of hours, since today morning, be it in Howrah or be it over here, where we have been reporting since for the past three days continuously. That is Hooghly's Rishra and Sri Rampur. Thankfully, there has been no reports of. any untoward incident now coming back to your question uh, the political warfare yes it is on and it doesn't seem that it's going to end anytime soon as you have mentioned preeti that yes the onset of for uh, the panchayat elections or uh, the day the panchayat elections are you know declared it the political warfare the war of words it's going to increase it's not going to decrease any time and uh, it's going to further it's it, it's the first you know it's it's the stepping stone for the 2024 elections the war of words uh, the heated conversations between the bjp trinamool left and congress uh, because it's 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 major stakes uh, are there for all of these parties uh, now you know coming back to the moot point over here preeti uh, both the bjp and the trinamool congress they have been blaming each other and mind you when i say trinamool congress i mean the chief minister the tmc supremo mamta banerjee she is she has claimed that you know this the the violence that we saw in both howrah and hooghly it okay. is caused by the bjp she mentioned today that one individual was arrested who was a resident of mung you know who was resident who was arrested from uh, bihar uh, the one whose video went viral you heard shukanto majumdar shukanto majumdar tried entering into hooghly we saw uh, he tried entering to howrah okay. first then today hooghly as well yesterday as well today he sat on a dharna lock a chatterji now they even right. the governor was here so it's completely you know uh, it's power packed right now one important okay. thing the governor came over here all right okay 
Let's quickly now move on. We're going to continue to get uh, more from our, from our reporters uh, focusing on Bihar, even as parts of Bihar remain on edge. Days after the Ram Naomi violence, Chief Minister Nitish Kumar was facing flak for enjoying an iftar party. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar attended an iftar party in Patna at a time when violence has ravaged parts of Bihar. That's not just him. The JDU National President Lalan Singh hosted a grand party for his alliance partners. The massive banquet was celebrated like a meat party with all attendees seen enjoying a hearty meal. This is how the politics fared. A boat ke khatil Bihar ko Muslim rasht bana denge. Ramjan mein chutti de karke Mamta Ramjan mein karai hai ki Hindu उनके साथ ना करें ये रमदान में लोगों को छुट्टी दे रहे हैं शुक्रवार को स्कूलों में छुट्टी हो रही है ये तो पूरा बिहार प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनने के ख्वाब में ये इस्लामिक स्टेट की कल्पना कर रहे हैं यू आर इन द पावर यू आर द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट व्हाट स्टेप्स हैव टेकन यू यू टेक कंफर्ट इन अटेंडिंग एन इफ्तार पार्टी यस्टरडे and now you take out today sadbhavna rally are there was no need of sadbhavna rally had you had you lived up to your duties you don't announce compensation you don't go and visit that place because you you jolly well know that you create this sense of insecurity so that the muslims of bihar are are always beholden to you my colleague aditya joins us for more on this aditya give us you know the what's happening behind the scenes in all the infighting and the projection of this all where the muslim vote is concerned All right, just coming right well, back. Exactly More news coming in. Ravi Shankar Prasad has attacked the chief minister as well. Says, "Stop dreaming of becoming PM. Handle Bihar first. All of this with Amit Shah, who had said earlier that the doors to the JDU are shut indefinitely." Over to you, Aditya. Go ahead. Well, exactly. As far as Bihar is concerned, of course, entire political space is now concentrated upon the. Things that transpired into Rohtas and Nalanda districts. Interesting to note here is the fact that the entire, uh, you can say, political landscape is exchanging bars. Uh, we, the opposition in the Bihar Legislative Assembly, that is the BJP and the Mahagathbandhan government, or Pappu Yadav and Ravi Shankar Prasad exchanging barbs on things, including on social media. But that being said, there are speculations. There are. comments exchange being done and also the slugfest that that is ongoing between the different political parties but that being said the entire thing is that the investigation still continues in the all the cases and as many as 50 people have been mm -hmm. arrested for their suspected involvement in what transpired right. in rohtas district as all right so you know what aditya is also trying to say is the incident had happened at the back of ram nami protest of course the politics rife uh, with ravi shankar prasad stepping in attacking uh, the chief minister of bihar listen in dekhi khab dekhne par kisi ko koi rok nahi hai नीतीश बाबू इस जीवन में तो आप प्रधानमंत्री भूल जाइए बिहार तो संभलता नहीं वहाँ कोई वैकेंसी नहीं नरेंद्र मोदी जी बीजेपी एनडीए और निर्णायक विजय करेंगे अगले साल विदाउट क्विक ब्रेक टू स्टे विद ऑन द अदर साइड इज अ फैक्ट चेक सेगमेंट